Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. What we got set up here today is a, a line shaft, what we would normally would have in a factory. Uh, you would have one engine, or big steam engine, gasoline engine set up outside and this line shaft would run the length of the building. And then off of that shaft you would have many pulleys running various pieces of equipment. In this case we have a short one and we're running a whole series of uh, blowers. The big blue in here with the sock on it, that came out of a factory in Massachusetts uh, with a hat factory and they used it for sucking the dust out of the factory and ventilating a room. The red one was used like in a big pole furnace. They were in the factory when you make, for making steam, you would have to force air into the coal. The smaller ones would be like for forges, for making horseshoes and nails and blacksmith, blacksmith stuff. The pulleys, even though they run loose like that, they will not fall off because they're designed with a uh, crown in the center. Uh -huh. And then the belts will always want to ride to the high point of the, of the uh, pulley. So they will never want to walk to the high point. The high point's in the middle, so it always wants to run to the center. And as long as they're running square to each other, they won't fall off. Now, all these belts have been running since uh, 8 o'clock this morning. And once we got them square and running, nothing has fallen off. You know, that's, that's a uh, water dome. That would equalize the pistons so you don't get a hammering effect as the, the uh, piston pumps the water. It would actually form uh, an air dome inside. That popping noise is the only time the engine actually fires. The style is, is uh, hit and miss. It only fires when it needs to to maintain a set RPM. Since there's no major load here, the engine is firing about every four cycles. So it's not using any fuel. The big flywheel is actually is what keeps everything running. They're actually trying to get that engine started. That's how you're actually starting. You turn the flywheels over, I said, that's manual labor there. Yes. Now they were hand start. <coughs> so you would actually spin the flywheels. There have, there where's, have, the, where's the key to the ignition? Uh, there was no key to ignition. Well, I, I started collecting these engines uh, in 1973. Was when I got my first one, I was with a friend. They were, his father was retiring and they were cleaning out the old family barn. And he says, you want this thing, take it, or it's going in the dumpster. So I ended up taking it, putting it down in my father's cellar. 1988, I dug it out, restored it, and that's what started from one. Now I have many. <laughs> and then once you got an engine running, you always have to have something to run on that engine. And I started collecting water pumps, and then I started collecting the different blowers. Once I started collecting the blowers, uh, when well you get one, somebody else says you have, well, we have one, you get two, now two becomes a collection, and eventually you end up with, you know, I probably got over a dozen of them in various stages of repair and waiting to be repaired. 